All right, so everyone, I hope you have your piece of paper, your pencil and eraser so that we can get started drawing our person underneath the quilt. So we're going to start with the paper vertical uh, that will work best for this project. And I'm gonna start a little bit above halfway, a little bit between halfway and the top of the paper. And I am going to draw a U shape. This is going to be our person's head and you can draw whoever you would like to um, we will get to details with that in just a second all right so after you have the head drawn we want to go ahead and draw in the hair now i drew in someone who looks a little bit more like myself let's do some wavy hair All right, and then I have some lines to show some different details in too. So you can go ahead and draw your person's hair in. Let's draw the facial features next. So I'm going to make sure I draw some ears in. All right, and then since I wanted it to look like my person is sleeping, I drew these little curved lines and I decided to add some eyelashes in. You don't have to if you don't want to. Underneath that, I'm going to draw a nose and then a mouth. If you would like to add lips on, you can do that as well. Okay, so from here, we are going to draw the blanket. Now we want the blanket to take up most of the space on our paper. So from the hair, or if you have shorter hair, from the side of your person's head, you are going to draw lines all the way down to the side of the paper. So you can see they go, they arch downwards a little bit. And then we're going to do that on the other side as well. Okay, so now we want to add in the different blocks on our quilt so that we can have all of our different patterns in there. Now we don't wanna make our blocks too small because otherwise we'll probably be drawing this forever. So I'm just going to draw two lines in across. just like that. And then we're going to divide the quilt up into different sections. I would only do about two or three different sections on each row, because again, you don't want to have too many different sections, otherwise we're gonna be drying for a really long time. And then the last thing that we can do, if you want to, is add in a pillow behind the person's head. So I'm going to draw a big, kind of puffy looking rectangle. So not perfectly straight on the sides. Like that. And then to show the pillow that's inside of the pillowcase, I'm going to draw a really long oval and maybe just put a pattern on it to show that it's different. So at this point, now that I have my person drawn in, I want to go ahead and add in some of the different patterns that I want to include. Now you can include the ones that you drew on your worksheet last week. That's an awesome place to start, but you can also include some other patterns if you would like to as well. So this week, what I'd like you to work on is just getting your person and the quilt drawn in and adding the patterns to each of your quilt squares.